Hey guys, it's your girl keeping it real with Trey Love. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Hey guys. Anyway, guys, today I just wanted to come and, you know, just talk a little. Um, this whole week has been an experience. Um, I tell you, it has been an absolute experience. Um, I had a lot of sickness this weekend, um, along with a couple of miracles this weekend, and... I also took this weekend, this week, I don't know why I keep saying weekend, I mean this week, this whole week, um, to do a lot of meditation, um, and through that meditation and thinking about a lot of things, um, I realized certain things, um, that had actually taken place and I really didn't pay it much attention um until now and um I'm gonna talk about those things a little bit um you know on down in this video um I have something else I want to talk about first before we get to that but um yeah this week um with my meditation and just laying down thinking um and giving my body a chance to heal I discovered um you know something that I was doing and um that thing is actually what I realized has really put a um, stop to me actually taking my channel a little further. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that on down the line, um, on this video though. Um, but anyway, what I actually wanted to come talk about today is, um, you know, how people, um, will carry a lie, um, and know that it's a lie, but will still carry that lie just because they don't like a specific person. So they will allow that lie to float around knowing that it's absolutely not true. And they will also carry that lie themselves. Um, and another issue I have with a lot of content creators, um, you know, you get on this platform and you voice your opinions about whatever it is you want to talk about, whether it be another content creator or an issue or whatever the case um, may be. But then when you have people come to your video um and make comments and they disagree with whatever you may have to say or whatever. You want to delete those comments. You want to block that person. And that person is not being disrespectful. Um, you do it because that person is actually bringing light and truth um, to the lies you're actually telling. And because you don't want other people to see what the truth is, you delete that person's comment or you block that person. And I think that's absolutely disgusting. And it goes to show um, the weak coward that you really are. I don't block, I don't delete any comments, whether they're good, bad, horrendous, excellent, whatever. I do not delete them and I do not block them. Now, YouTube holds certain comments, but even when I go in and check my comments that's held for review, um, I actually release those comments and I comment to them. I do not delete them or block them because I think that that person has their right to their opinion. But at the same time, you have to understand that um, once you make that comment to me, even though that's your opinion and that's your right, it may not stop right there. I may just come back with my opinion to your comment, um, but I'm not going to delete you and I'm not going to block you because I'm not one of the ones that want to sit here 
and make everybody think that, oh, yeah, everybody that comes to my page just loves me and have all these positive things to say about me. No, I want people that come to my page to show um, or to see that there are people that challenge me and I'm going to challenge you right back. You know, um, I'm not one of those kind of people. Um, I live in reality. I don't live in a fantasy world. Therefore, I understand that everybody is not going to agree with me. And that's perfectly okay. Some people are going to just disagree with me because I'm for the person that they don't particularly like. And again, that's perfectly fine. That just goes to show that you base your opinions off your feelings and your thoughts and not what's necessarily true. So for you content creators that do that, I look at you guys as very weak individuals. Um, Yeah, and I just want you to know that, you know, but. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to um, the reason I'm talking about this and I actually want to, um, you know, make this video about that. Um, and as you guys saw at the beginning of this video, you see a comment and I posted that comment there for all of you guys to read because as you know, recently for the last couple of days, there's been this issue going on or whatever with um Benji AdSense um Melissa B and that lady Wanda Whitley um and now out of all of that you know my girl Truth Hurt she did commentary on the ladies Wanda Whitley's video and in that video Wanda Whitley spoke about being recorded um by Melissa B, um, you know, and all of this, whatever, you know, Wanda, that lady talks all around circles. She go over to I-85, back to 75, to 675, to 285, and still not really make no sense. But in her video, she talked about being recorded um, by Melissa B um, during a phone conversation. Anyway, some kind of way from Truth doing the commentary on that video, some kind of way the lie got out that Truth Hurts actually started the rumor that Wanda was recorded by Melissa B. Now, I saw for myself um, under either the video Benji made um, responding to that situation or either under a post that he put on his community post one of his subscribers had come under there and made this whole little thing about old oh, truth hurt started that rumor and blase 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 and benji ran with that and in another one of his community posts to i think it was loker libra he stated in that post that truth hurts actually um, made up that lie and blase and that is an absolute lie truth hurts did not um create that lie wonder whitley stated that in her video i heard it with my own ears and i think the girl heidi fly heidi fly flies whatever um, stated it in her video. I think she was the first one to actually make a video about the actual incident. But um, they have started this rumor that Truth Hurts actually um, created this lie. And it's just easy and simple to go over to Wanda Whitley's video and watch her videos and you will see that Truth Hurts did not start that lie and these people actually know that but because they do not like Truth Hurts they want to continue to run with that lie and so the comment that you see at the beginning and I think I'm going to put it at the end of this video as well. You will see that I went over to Benji's um, 
supposed to let him know that no that is a lie truth hurts did not start that rumor and i actually saw your subscriber come under your video or post or whatever it was and actually say that truth hurts started that rumor again which was a lie well either benji has me blocked or he deleted the comment um so nobody else could see because the comment is not actually there anymore so that's why i posted it on my video in the beginning and i'm gonna put it in the end so that you guys can actually read that comment now what i don't understand is you had two other people on there agreeing with you you left those comments but you erased or you blocked me why if you're so real and you don't tell lies why wouldn't you want the world to see that that was a lie because you actually do not like truth hurts you have some unfounded hate for her that you would rather have that lie continue to flow around than to tell the actual truth um well you know guys like i told you i have used this week to do a lot of um you know meditating reading the bible and just thinking about you know um different things and i came across something in leviticus and it states that if anyone sins because they do not speak up when they hear a public charge to testify regarding something they have seen or learned about, they will be held responsible. And that's in Le Yeah, sorry guys, my recording cut off, but yeah so that was in the book of leviticus so basically even if you didn't know before that truth hurts did not start that lie um once people start to say that to you as an adult person and a righteous person and a person that truthful and not out lying you know would have just wanted to taken a look to see that she did not start that and then would have come back and let people know that you were wrong truth hurts did not start that lie um i also saw under there somebody was telling you that a content creator had already called out melissa b as being fake or whatever and you stated that well if it was truth hurts or the connection rejection you ain't gonna go with nothing they say or something like that well it turned out to be true and she was phony and fake so it wasn't like truth hurts spoke any lies but your unfounded hate for her won't even allow you to stand up for what's right or the truth and that's a problem you know it's absolutely sad that you people um you know get in these certain little groups and gangs but you also supposed to be leaders and you know all these people that just do things on their own and this 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 but you seem to just follow the group you know and you guys want to crucify this lady when this lady haven't even done half of the things and lies that you put out that you guys put out about her which is absolutely hilarious because at the same time what it shows is it's something special about truth hurts that gets to a lot of you guys and it gets to you so bad that you would rather have these lies out there on her to make her look bad you are already say she's a bad person or whatever the case may be right so why do you have to add lies to the scenario to try to make her look worse if she's already a bad person like you say because the truth of the matter is she's not and you guys see a lot of people are recognizing and seeing through the bullshit so you want to keep packing lie on top of lie on top of lie on top of lie well the only thing you guys are doing is making her look better and better and better because anybody with common sense and is so intelligent 
and leaders as a lot of you guys say you are why not just take a moment and go over and watch Wanda Whitley's video or watch Heidi Fly's video and then go back and look at Truth Hurts video and match up the dates and see where what came from you guys don't want to do that because you guys want to make her look like what she's not which is absolutely sad and hilarious at the same time because she got you guys going crazy she have you guys going crazy so guys that's all i really wanted to um you know say on that right there because he deleted my comment so i actually wanted to include that comment inside um this video so that you guys can see that i did go over and um you know try to let him know that that actual um that that was not true what they were saying about she started that um rumor and we do know that rumors are carried by fools right you know, I'm, I'm not calling you a fool. That's just the saying, right? Rumors are carried by fools. And you can take that how you would like. So anyway, guys, the other thing I want to talk about is, like I said, this week has been a really, really trying week. Um, You know, I was extremely sick, sicker than... I have been in a very, very long time, um, and as you know, I told you guys a while ago that I have been dealing with some things that I've never dealt with before, and um, you know, I just took this whole week to just meditate and think about a lot, a lot of things, and guys, let me tell you, out of that meditation, what I realized is, even when it comes down to this channel, I realize I'm not really progressing in this channel because I started to try to conform myself to what a lot of you guys want me to be. A lot of you guys holla positive, 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 which is all cool. But again, like I told you before, I live in reality. I don't live in a fantasy world. And what I do know about this world is this world is positive and negative. I also know that I can't charge my car battery unless there's a positive and a negative. And what I have tried to do was stop my um, frame of thought and who I am to try to work around what you guys want. Well, I decided I'm no longer going to do that because what I've realized in the midst of doing that, I'm losing who I truly am as an individual. I'm an individual that I care deeply about a lot of things, um, that go on in this world and i noticed that a lot of people like to ignore a lot of the real hard um things that go on in this world they don't like to talk about it they like to turn a blind eye on it that's not who i am it's a lot of things that's going on in this world today um, that's affecting my people and it in turn affects me but I don't want to talk about those things on my page because you have so many people that just rather talk about people that are not making a difference in this world and um, that's not who I am so I've decided that I am going to be who I am I'm, I'm not um, a cooking person I'm not a person that's gonna always have positive things to say because everything is not that I'm a person um, that understands that turning your other cheek doesn't always work if that's the case we wouldn't still be where we are Martin Luther King turned his cheek a lot and nothing much really changed 
I'm going to talk about the things that bothers me, the things that I want to discuss, whether they're good or bad. And I see that when I stand up for certain people, I lose a subscriber here. I lose a subscriber there. I gain it back. Well, go. I'm telling you now, go, because I'm no longer going to try to conform around what you guys want that's what's been taking me so long to produce my videos because the way I'm trying to present things I don't really have a passion that way um so I'm going to present my things the way I so yeah guys I'm back so yeah I'm going to present my things the way I see fit to present them there's certain things that I've been working on that I still am going to bring to you guys because I'm passionate about um, those things as well however I'm going to just jump back into being exactly who I am and who I am is somebody that's very passionate about things um, that goes on in this world things including things that's happening to my people and I want to talk about those things I don't want to keep those things to myself because I feel this person may be offended or this person may be offended that's not my issue um, that you don't want to face certain things head on and you want to turn a blind eye to certain things or you want to ignore certain things that's not my issue, but that's not who I am. And so I'm going to say it again now. Um, and I mean what I'm saying now. I welcome every last one of you guys that only want to see positive things from me on this page or on this channel to go because that's not going to be the case it's some things things going on right now happening to my people real life things um in this world that i'm going to discuss because i have my opinions on those things i'm not a candace owens okay i'm pro-black i'm pro-black and there's a lot of things that's going on that I want to speak about. I don't want to come on here in La La Land all the time because everything is not La La Land. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to say that this video is getting ready to end. But guys, I'm going to start posting on my channel um, often now because there's a lot of things out there to talk about. Um Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for listening to this video. I want to thank the ones that have been from day one supporting me and for those that will continue to support me. Thank you guys for listening to my video. Bye.